here we go. Hello, how's everyone doing? Wow. How are you? Cool. All right, we're gonna start off. Kenzie, how are you doing? <laughs> All right, um, parents, pretend you're driving a car, such as one on the way to one of our tournaments that's at least huh, one hour away. Okay, now I want you to pretend it's raining so hard that you have the windshield wipers on fast and still can barely see through the windshield. You know, you're driving. Okay. <laughs> now, pretend that we're running late, and as you know, running late means penalized playing time. So you have to go faster. Going faster is dangerous. <coughs> now pretend that you have no GPS, and the directions have been handwritten, and they're difficult to follow. Now pretend that all the kids in the back seat are constantly laughing and yelling and asking you to change the radio station every few seconds. You know, kids. <laughs> yeah. Now pretend your cell phone is going off and it's someone from work and you're trying to get in touch with them and they're trying to get in touch with you and, you know, play a little phone tag going on. Um, so at this point, driving a car, total downpour, we're late, you're having difficulty with the directions, you're talking on the phone, everyone's yelling trying to change the radio station, it's just hectic. But, it's all doable, but we know that it's hard, right? right. And at some point, they'll probably miss a turn, if not several, and there are many accidents, and you may have, you know, other stuff going on, and you're probably going to get mad. You may even start yelling at the kids to be quiet. So, when we as students take a test in the classroom, it's silent. We prepare for the test by studying during the week, and then when the teacher distributes it, we're quiet, ready to concentrate, get the test done with. But imagine your daughter comes home, getting all imagination going here, and uh, says the test that she studied for all week was hard, and the students were obnoxious and talking, and she couldn't take their blabbering. And <laughs> at this point, uh, you'll probably call the teacher and ask for an explana explanation. And you won't be surprised if your daughter failed it. These are two examples of what it's like when parents get constant instruction from the sideline during a game. We've already prepared for the game, just like we studied for a test. We have to communicate with each other on the court while the defense is trying to distract us. And it's already hard enough, and it's proven fact that children cannot follow multiple steps of instruction coming from different sources at the same time. The sideline coaching, although meant help, is detrimental for the team. Very nice.